Whether it was in war or business, I see problems and solve them. I want to create a better future for my kids and your children and grandchildren. Our campaign is about service, God and country, not politics as usual. Veteran Tim Sheehy hoping to flip one of those vulnerable blue seats. He wants to oust Montana Democrat John Tester from the Senate seat he's held for decades, saying it's time for a generation of new leadership. He joins us now. Tim, thank you so much for being here. For people who are just meeting you for the first time, tell us a little bit about your background. Thanks for having me, Dana. Well, I was proud to serve in the military. Uh, I was a Navy SEAL officer and my wife was a Marine, so we both met in the military, served together, did several tours, Iraq, Afghanistan, and elsewhere. Was wounded and ended up getting out of the military and we started our businesses here in Montana, uh, primarily doing aero firefighting as well as providing uh, protective equipment for our troops. And we also have one of the larger uh, cattle feeding operations in the state as well. So i uh, been blessed to serve our country on the field of battle and also uh, helping to grow jobs here in America. And one of the things that Montana is looking for is a little bit of help on the GDP front. Let's take a look at the numbers here compared to the United States, which grew at 2.6% in the fourth quarter of 2022. Montana was at 1.3%. You think Montana can do better? It absolutely can. You know, we've got a fantastic bedrock for our economy. We've got a fantastic governor, Governor Greg Gianforte, and Montanans are pro-business people. Uh, they want more jobs. They want growth. And, um, you know, they're ready for a new generation of leaders in Washington. You picked up three big endorsements from, from the Senate side. You just got started a couple of days ago. Senator Blackburn of Tennessee, Senator Cotton of Texas, and Senator Daines, also of Montana. Danes is very interesting because he really wanted you to get into the race. He is heading up the National Republican Senatorial Committee. What was it that convinced you to go ahead and do this? You have a very busy life. You have a young family. You have a good life there in Montana. Why run for the Senate? Well, it's about service. You know, as a leader on the field of battle, you know, you got to figure out where you can be at the point of greatest impact as a leader. And sometimes that's on the trigger. Sometimes that's on the radio. As a small business owner, which I am, sometimes you've got to be in front of customers selling. Sometimes you've got to be sitting with your CFO going through numbers. So you've got to put yourself at the greatest point of impact uh, on the, uh, during the mission. And as an American citizen right now, our nation's facing some very serious challenges from our poorest southern border to our climbing deficit to inflation uh, to our education system. We have some serious challenges and we need serious people to solve them. So I was asked to serve. It was a tough decision to do so, no question. But uh, when your country calls and needs you, you have to answer.